fraud lock pipe down you ain't in no big three nacho got you wiped down ashi got you wiped down kramer got you wiped down i didn't add this in my last video but the eric cantona quote in the anime is fake and the quote in the manga is about reporters not about selfishness but wait there's more in chapter one ego says football is a sport about scoring even at the expense of your teammates so this further supports selfishness then he says the best player is the one that scores the most goals this is also not true because the sport is not that simple fraud lock you lied about Cantona. You lied about ego. You lied about selfishness. You lied about teamwork. You lied about strikers. You lied about weapons. You lied about formulas. We don't want to hear you say soccer no more. All right, I'll be picking up from episode 11. The first thing to cover is quite amazing. Anyhow, there's no one from building one, two, three, or four. No, why? Because only building five exists here, Luck. Yes, I fooled you. But because you were convinced you were at the very bottom of the pile, you fought through the first selection filled with fervor and desperation. <laughs> It was a ruse I invented to destroy your half-baked confidence. A necessity to instill each of you with the hunger to become the best in the world. There was no other way. That hunger becomes an ego with the power to change the world. You've learned what a striker is, turning zero into one. But from here on out, you'll be in a battle to multiply that one into a hundred on a cutting-edge training field. So Ego lied to motivate the characters, and he specifically admits it. Many stands in my comments were trying to argue that Ego lied about selfishness and egoism to motivate the characters to score goals. But if that were true, why wouldn't he admit that as well? He already admitted to lying about one thing in this scene, but he stuck to his egoism philosophy? Sounds like the stands are trying to cope with the unfortunate reality. The ending song slaps though. Creative! It recreates the crucial moment right before you shoot a goal. If I want to keep up with the others, I'm going to have to hold my weapon and improve my shots. Okay, I can do this. My goal formula works. I have to focus on the points of impact. This is it. The essence of my ability to score. I have to combine my tricks and strategies to make simple, direct shots. Right about now. Yeah! He's overwhelmed by his own evolution. The only reason I was able to make those goals was because of some solid passes. The first stage is all about training their weapons. Once again, it's all about weapons. Isaki trains his folly. He also acknowledges that he only won the first selection due to what? Teamwork. That's rough, buddy. Let's get this started. Mix up his ring. Are you ready, Isaki? Yeah. You know what to do. A one-two pass. But that was only a fake. Maggie. Yeah. <laughs> Timing is right. Distance too. Should be in range. It's yours. Got it. Nice. Here goes. My new direct shot. In the very first play, Isaki's team uses a team play that has every member touch the ball. None of them were selfish. Bachira happily passed to Naki, and Naki proudly passed to Isagi. Naki took pride in how good his pass was. What happened to score even at the expense of your teammates? I feel bad for fraud log fans because it takes an enormous amount of coping to deal with this cognitive dissonance. The beliefs aren't lining up with the actions, and the author doesn't care to address this. Huh? He went for it right after the restart? I'm not gonna let you touch it! Bachira, nice pass, so gentle. How? He was shielding the ball, and he still managed to steal it! If our passes aren't getting through to Nagichi, I'll slice through him myself! Uh, what? Think you can stop me, Kat? There's no stopping him! He's like a neurotic bullet train! Oh, so easy! So we won't be isolated. And we can use this triangle to chip away at them. Watch it as the anchor. He can't hang onto the ball too long. So Isagi and I will utilize a new tactic. One touch. There's a chance we can pull this off. With my control, Isagi's direct play in it. It's a gift from me to you! The ball has some crazy spin on it. And you're telling me not to kill it. Interesting. Okay. Yes, I'm ready. I'm used to Reos. And his were always a case of do whatever you feel like. But that one I got from Bachira. It was like a new idea was being forced into my brain. Green's first goal is an example of selfishness. But he's the antagonist. Meanwhile, the heroes keep using teamwork. Bachira only tries to go solo once passing to Nagi doesn't work. The antagonists continue to score goals on their own. So when each of the hero's weapons are being cancelled out by the villain's weapons, they use a triangle plus one touch passing. Which is what? Say it with me now. Teamwork. I can't lie. Fraudlock had some good soccer knowledge here. Passes with implicit messages, the triangle, and one touch passes were all real ball. Anyway, the heroes score their second goal with teamwork. The rest of the team could work off of that and make it into 100. In the second selection, the field's smaller and there are fewer players. So your personal style has a bigger influence overall. I would say we're being tested on individual skills. Whoever you're playing with, or whoever you're playing against, you've got to win one on one. That's the key to surviving the second selection. Become a formula, you can be repeated. I don't need anyone to feed me passes. One touch is all I need to bring the ball to life. Do you see my rhythm? Come and take it, Jane. I rule this field now, as if you're evolving. I'm gonna catch up to you, geniuses. He got past us. Wait, it's right. That's his weapon. Mine's getting behind the enemy. No way. This is not a high I can't even beat him. In round two, the author tries to recover by saying that the story is testing 1v1 abilities. That's fair because the villains won by only doing 1v1s. In the 2v2s, Isaki's focuses on coming up with a new formula. Nagi introduces a new formula. Weapon time situation equals one on one. His super trap times enemy is behind equals unpredictable. Power system is everything. Baro has been relying on his shot as a weapon, and now Rahaya uses his weapon, getting behind the enemy. Naruhaya and I are the same, both one step short. His weapon is getting behind the defense, but he lacks scoring power. My direct shot works in front of the goal, but I have no way of getting myself there. Race to see who will overcome their limitation first, because their side will win this game. Right now, I've got to get in front of the net. Spend on my controller technique! 
If I'm never gonna catch up to these geniuses, I need a direct shot! This goal changes everything! I'm turning my life around! His blind spot! But I will shift his weight in spot. So I'll go in the opposite direction. I'm open. Pass it over here! Yes, yeah, Striker. I see you. I'll defeat the just become new! Worthy of standing next to geniuses! Episode 15 fleshes out the power system even more by separating weapons into shooting skill and movement skill. Now the battle is all about which one of the weaklings will complete their formula first. Izagi wins by completing his 1v1 formula. The power system is everything. Earlier I said the author was recovering on his selfishness path, but this 2v2 still required teamwork for Izagi and Nagi to win. The first and last goals both had teamwork, meanwhile Baro, who mostly relied on selfishness, lost. First, but I'm here to throw you. Give it your best shot, you meathead. You didn't really expect that we press to stop you. Ow! You'll mess me up. Start a line on your teammates. The game will never pass. I hope you didn't think you could beat us all by yourself. You took your sweet time. Good work, Beatball. Yeah. Suddenly, I'm the last line of defense. Is he going to dribble all the way or pass the ball to Kumi Kumi? Wait, if that was his, it was meant for him. Chigari! Love Chigari's speed. They have an understanding of each other's weapons. By bringing out their teammates' abilities, they've achieved a tri fusion on a higher plane, even surpassing geniuses like Baro and Nagi. He's ignoring me? <laughs> Something you are, even for you. That was greedy. Shot. He'll fire it past all of us! That's going in. Hell yeah! Nice shot, Kunigami! In the 3v3s, they used teamwork. Kunigami and Rea worked together to take the ball from Baro, who was being selfish. Sounds like pro teamwork propaganda. Izaki even gargles on their teamwork. Baro not passing in episode 17 creates another turnover and another goal. As the story focuses on the power system more, characters gain more weapons. Baro always had his dribbling and shot. Kunigami had his shot, but now physique is in focus too. Izaki has a spatial awareness, volley, and blind spot. As expected, the match revolves around the fighters using their special moves. Chemical reaction is another word that's been flying around, but the story hasn't explained it well. It's basically teamwork. I've seen people say something along the lines of, Fraud Luck is a battle manga with a soccer skin. I couldn't agree more. Hold up. Listen to Baro and Nagi's conversation. Right, huh? He said he was totally free back there. Why didn't you pass to him? Shut up. Why the hell would I pass it to someone so they can score? Are you an idiot? That doesn't matter if we don't win. I'll win with my goals. You two just need to get out of my way so I can score for us. Now let's flash back to the Noel Noah quote that Ego promoted in episode 1. Instead of assisting my team, it's 2v1 to 0. It feels better to pull out a hat trick and lose 3 to 4. This is a record for Noah Noah, who we outlined in Messi, and Cristiano Ronaldo, 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 who we outlined but Nagi has a problem with this, and the story is clearly painting Baro as the one who's wrong. This can't be happening. I can pass it to Baro, but each route I see, each trail, both cold and dies. Whoa, the images of potential goals are endless. This is shown by the trail of skeletons in Baro's passing route. Meanwhile, the pass to Nagi, who works as a team, has many scoring opportunities. You know something? No matter how fast you are, that doesn't change the fact. People can't turn on its own. My chemical reaction with Nagi! That's a start. This in peace is a chemical reaction with Baro. That will be the key to winning this game. The way we're playing right now, I'm not smelling a goal for you. You've got to consider plays that Nagi and me score, okay? We need to make every chance count. No one's gonna create a chemical reaction on their own. How many? But you passing to one of us can open up more options, don't you think? And that might turn into more chances for you to score. My any other option. Yeah, I got that. And I'm saying we'll lose if you keep it up. That's fine by me. If I have to change my core principle, then I'd rather lose. That's the only way I'm thinking is destroying your potential. Why can't you understand that? I'm still to stop it. I'm going to win this game, and in the process, prove you were the wrong choice. Let's go. Play up, damn it. Crap, I can't advise. I'm not all about just pushing through. You should finish. Gotta stop him. I'll get in front of the game, then it's yours, Nagi. Oh, really? He got us. He's kind. He dribbled like he was going past the bottle, but it was a fake out to divert away from Nagi. He created a straight to him. Nagi, I can see him. You're waiting for the right moment to burst out of the darkness. How did their blind spot? Kept my eyes on you. What? He brought darkness to this field. So I'll devour it. And turn it into light. Yeah! I'm open. Through you. I'm taking the shot. You know, you should listen to the comic book every now and then. If I help. What he said. Yeah, I lost it again. Damn it. It's time for sure. Pass? How come you can't? No, he's like that. Stop it. It works. I can maintain top speed and be right the ball at me at the same pace. I know slow down dribble. In you go! Are you kidding? Just went for it! Damn it! The shot sounds wide open. This one's going in the goal. I just gotta eat up the last few meters of my first touch. I'm waiting. Pass. White team scores their first goal due to Isaki and Naki's chemical reaction, which is basically teamwork. Isaki getting a chemical reaction with Baro is the formula for winning the game. Power system. Even Isaki craps on Baro for acting like Noel. Team Red scores their third with teamwork. Baro starts looking like a fool when his teammates start scoring without him because of his selfishness. When Baro finally passes, Isaki scores an equalizer. Strange, isn't it? Future. 
I refuse to accept! A chop me? And the cube for link? Show me my new path. I'm lead actor, but a path that exists solely for me. A twisted path! He used Jesus' shield shields can see his next attack. I'll use the light out of the shadow you didn't see. Now it's time for that to play the villain. The one who devours your light! Holy hell, dude. Welcome back, Majesty. In episode 18, Baro scores the final point with a solo goal, which supports his selfishness. But out of the 9 goals scored, only 2 were solo. Chigiri and Baro each scored 1. The rest, the majority, was teamwork. Teamwork continues to overshadow Hero Ball. Baro is written as an anomaly who's allowed to go against the theme and still succeed. But if you really wanted to, you could look at his goal as teamwork since he was using his teammates as decoys. I already made you take the donkey part back. Everything else you said was basically true. <laughs> I was being immature. It's obvious. Not like I can't change after learning the true meaning of pain though. In episode 19, Baro admits that everything Isagi said was true. They should have positioned themselves for some kind of combo. Instead, they're using each other, devouring each other's style so they can control the ball like some kind of anti-combo. What a choice in this situation. It's the only spot. You're feeling this? Red Panther to break through. Oh, he's able to react to all of it. In order to defeat us, this is the chemical reaction they've engineered. It's a super link-up play. They really are. Where are the opponents? Ass! Mm -hmm. Ayo, get that crew! Hurry up, better get their first business! Before you catch up. It's, it's you! My ball is mine! The direction you might. No one touch pass, to who? Oh, oh crap, I'm gonna die. If you play soccer that half-bent, you're never gonna make my heart race. In the 4v4, White scores their first goal with a super link-up play, a chemical reaction, teamwork. Red scores their first goal with teamwork, Green doesn't need a chemical reaction to score. Once again, the heroes are more team-oriented, while the antagonists are more selfish. Is the theme that the heroes need to get on the villain's level by being more selfish? Or will they conquer selfishness with their teamwork? The results of the game will answer that. If I devour him, we can win this! Pause on all the devour him stuff. Show up, huh? Oh, you're passing? What's the plan? Take it, Bobcat. Straight to the goal. Aye, aye, Captain Sir. Any ideas? Shocking. Then allow me to introduce you. Did he shoot? No. He already jumped? You're kidding. Our dads will impress. We can do this all day long. I will stop you every single time. I'm responding to this. Don't assume I'm going to fit neatly into your little strategy. Okay. That was quick. Thank you. Go directly behind me. That's a nice little case. I'll shoot. Gotcha. Use my two-stage fake bully. But wait. Reen starts using teamwork when he passes to Batria and tells him to score. What about Noel Noah's quote? What happened to Ego? Red's second is scored with teamwork. Now they're using chemical reactions too. White's second goal is teamwork. It seems like the question has already been answered. He made his teammate hold up the ball. Meanwhile, he's moving into a better position. First touch pass from there. Aerial chest takedown. It's, no, just kept the pass to him. Catch, Reen! Shot? No. It's too slow. No way! You're giving it to me? Hold on. He read my thoughts? That's great. You're, you're just an eat Itoshi's puppets! You're nothing more than an NPC. Did you really think you'd share my vision? But in our rematch, he has everyone on the field under his thumb! It's brilliant! He assesses each of our skills, then sets us up to use them to their full potential, creating a high-level future he envisions. That's it. Or even with a chemical reaction! But he's in serious mode. We're nothing but puppets. It is a mind's eye! Watch and learn! Oh, no. ah, he's open that He's lost his mind. You're watching his prey from its blind spot. Fighting his time until he can satisfy his hunger! This. I see. It's an anomaly you can't resist! And that's the whole basis of King Bono's game! I need more to devour! In 21, Isagi and Rin are having a future vision battle. Power system as usual. Red's third is teamwork. The story tries to recover by saying that Rin is the puppet master controlling his teammates, but at the end of the day, he's still at Bachira's core, which goes against Noel. I see why some people like Baro so much. He just does his own thing and is able to get results, even going against the theme. Pause on the devour. You usually catch up with my movements. I see what you're up to, donkey. You're telling me to get past this guy, right? Hey, you're in the clear. So pass already. Yeah, bro. He's not down the touch line. Pass the goal. Everyone's focused on how I'm going to pass. With this attack, I'll change the battlefield completely. My move with a diagonal run to the near post. Why is he the only one spraying that way? Pass it now. I see it. The future of the field. The one I envisioned. Got him. I fooled you, genius. I think you're true. That's action. When you least expect it, I direct back heel. I devoured you, Lean. And I'm going to surpass you. Yeah. It's only possible because of my special anti-eating formula. Since he can envision what I've foreseen, I found a way to use that against him. So basically, get the ball. We can save this. I've had enough of your buzzing. Swarming me like little insects. Stop distracting me, you pieces of shit! I'll let my passion burn me alive. No, you don't. You are not it. From now on, I'm going to be the monster. Building my ego. Will set me free. White's fourth goal in 22 was clean, and it was scored with teamwork. Isaki finally predicted Reen's prediction, like it's Jojo. They gotta stop saying devour. When Bachira became selfish, he performed better, but he was ultimately blocked. So since both sides used teamwork a lot, 
the clash of playstyles disappeared. Both teams used the same style, teamwork over hero ball. And had Megadu brought to a shot and locked either a centimeter to the left or to the right, perhaps the fate of these eight people would have gone differently. The ball randomly, mercilessly, even cruelly, landed at the feet of the fixer. Missing! What do I need to defeat you? <laughs> even a champ could answer that. It was luck. In 23, Reen says that he won because of luck. The narration agrees with him. The explanation of luck is corny. Luck can't be boiled down to some coincidental factor. It's the hidden element that favors only those who choose to act on desire. And if that's Have you ever in your life been shot on by a pigeon? Uh, but you realize something. See? The ground's covered in bird shit. And when you look up, there are a bunch of pigeons above you. Can you really call it bad luck when you could have avoided this shit? Simply by taking note of your surroundings a bit sooner. Sorry about that. Summer festival. Now imagine a stall owner never included a winning number. Can anyone really claim a person who didn't win had bad luck? It only comes to those who place themselves in its path. It's the same on the soccer field. Results in a coincidence, which then becomes ground zero for luck. Number one didn't slow down. He accelerated towards his opponent. He realized a pass was never going to happen, and 15 would try to block a shot. And that is true. No one was able to predict where the ball would land. It could have easily fallen anywhere on the field. Exactly. But you're talking about the possibility of you getting possession of it. He decided to decelerate like everyone else. The ball might still have fallen in his direction. But if he'd gotten possession in that area, the other team's defense would have swamped him before he could shoot. Number one found a spot where he could draw the winning number and waited for his luck. Truly, there was a possibility the ball could have gone to an opponent. If that had happened, he would have easily been countered and lost possession. End of story. Then the other team would have won. That's how close and intensive a game it was. Without a doubt, the determining factor in that game was luck. It doesn't matter if it was on your side, though. If you stood by doing nothing, the opportunity is wasted. You must hold your mind to respond to those coincidences. Otherwise, the opportunity will vanish before you know how to react. Learn to seize that chance by improving yourselves. So when it comes around, you can figure out where it might fall and be there waiting for it. Doctor is overflowing with lucky coincidences. Are you going to learn how to spot them or cry when you overlook the signs in front of you? Eco really tried to argue that all coincidences are predictable with his analogy. They're not. Luck doesn't only come to those who place themselves in his path. This desire to simplify everything into a digestible and predictable formula is deplorable. Isaki brings up a great counter, and Eagle's response is brain dead. He changes the focus of the convo, and ultimately ends up saying that the deciding factor in the game was luck. But didn't Eagle say that strikers should eliminate luck? Now he's saying that they should prepare for lucky moments? Hmm, mad. That's the end of the second selection. Once again, I have the same issues. Toxic philosophy, cognitive dissonance, and simplification of the sport. Toxic philosophy is all the egoism, the well know what crap. Cognitive dissonance is how the story preaches selfishness, but the characters actually use teamwork and selflessness to score a majority of their goals. Simplification is how the story tries to simplify the sport into a neat power system consisting of weapons, scoring formula, 1v1 formula, and chemical reactions. If I look at this as a battle manga, the power system is cool, and I've said so before. But if I look at this as a sports manga, it's just corny and fraudulent.